I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Mike McCormick. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas on the Felder BB Show. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. I want to talk about business travel. How can you enlighten my audience? Because so many people, um, oh, what do I want to say? They are business travelers, but they want to get the most out of their travel. Well, yeah, so there's a lot of really interesting trends that, uh, you know, both from in terms of making the most of your business travel experience, but also taking advantage of that and having some good uh, personal or leisure travel experiences while you go. About 40% of business travelers today combine both business and pleasure when they travel. And a lot of employers are really supportive of it because they know that when their employees are happy, when they have great travel experiences, and the two go hand in hand. Um, so again, it's, uh, it, it's a great opportunity to maybe see some places you haven't been before, get your business done, and really be really efficient uh, while you're doing it. So how can you balance work and business? Currently, one of my employees, she's in Egypt right now, and she's doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I guess she figures this is other people's dime. I'm going to have a great time. She's doing her work, but she arranged tours and all of these other things so she could see a country she never saw before. Well, good for her and good for you because, again, you being supportive of that means that you're going to have a happy, uh, happy employee, and that's what you want. And, again, within reason, it works out really well. I mean, for companies, one of the concerns they do have, though, is just balancing that, you know, the fact that they are responsible for you when you're on the business trip, and then when does that responsibility begin and end when it comes to the leisure part, uh, the personal part of the, the uh, travel. But as long as you've worked that part out, uh, again, it's a, it's a good trend and one that certainly uh, millennials are taking a more and more advantage of. Uh, also, when people apply for jobs, uh, being able to travel on business, that being a part of the job responsibilities, is actually thought of as being a very positive thing. So as an employer, you know, being willing to you know, send your, your people on the road, that being a part of the job, and you know, making it a, a positive experience is all good for the employee and for the employer. Okay. Oh, well, my next question is, me, the employee, the employer, I benefit because I get a happier employee. Mm -hmm. Is that where my benefit comes in? It is. It is. And again, we ask as employers, I mean, we ask so much of our of, of employees. I mean, we ask for productivity, people to be online all the time, to be always checking, always available. Uh, so again, it's give, give and take, right? It's a, it's a matter of, yes, we need to be the most productive we can. Um, and you're also asking people to travel to destinations uh, all over the world. We're in a global economy. Every company, big or small, is out there, you know, finding, building relationships and needing to send people on the road to do it, no matter where they are in the world. So again, while you're doing that, why not be supportive of those employees and give them a chance to uh, experience a bit of the destination when they're there? I wanted to ask you, how do you, can you make technology work for you when you're tr doing this business, leisure travel? How do you make technology the best part of it? Trip. Well, that's a great question. And see, the thing is, so much of the success you have on a business trip or even a personal trip has to do with the preparation you do in advance. There's so many programs and tools that are available. A lot of times people just don't know to take advantage of them. So like, for example, TSA has PreCheck. It's a terrific program to make, allow you to bypass the, the long, busy lines getting through uh, security at the airport. 
Uh, if you're traveling internationally like your employee over in Egypt, um, being in global entry means that when she comes back into the United States, she can go through a process to bypass all the entire customs process, um, a quick uh, photo, some information on a computer screen and a fingerprint check, and she's through to the other side to get her bags. Um, it, it's all part of like ways that you can really make it a, a more, um, let's say, less stressful, um, more efficient process and just have a better experience. All your travel suppliers, your airlines, hotels, car rental companies, your travel agencies, they've invested millions and millions and millions of dollars in tools and capabilities that people just need to take advantage of so that when things do happen, when you do have a disruption, you know, you're ready to uh, basically use the tools that are available and to try to work through it. Because there are always things that are going to happen. It's inevitable. We have record numbers of people traveling, both for business and for pleasure. So it's crowded out there. You just need to be prepared. Michael, you're, you're totally on the mark. My employee is a millennial. <laughs> <laughs> and when I heard you, you describe the characteristics of these uh, business travelers, you're correct. You know, uh, she made the arrangements. She told me what they were, how, how to contact her, everything that needed to be done. So that makes me a happy employer, and she's being a happy employee throughout the uh, uh, Middle East. Thank you so much. Where can my uh, audience go and find more information so that they can be a savvy traveler or a savvy employee? Well, you can go to our site. Go to blog.gbta.org. You'll find articles and information there to give you uh, some help. And again, go to the State Department site to register for those programs, uh, pre-check and global entry. Go uh, to your travel agency, your travel professionals. They have tons of information, tools that they've already vetted that, they, that you can use to make you uh, more productive and more effective when you're on the road. But again, sounds like your employee's a good one. She's, she's uh, being responsible and working with you, and, and so it makes for a great relationship for the two of you as well. Thank you for saying that. She's the entertainment editor, and she's having fun. Thank you <laughs> so much, Michael McCormick. This is great information. I feel really good. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day.